Hey guys, what's up? This is Dreth here, and uh, I just learned something new. Uh, I don't know if you guys knew this. Um, I'm not sure if it's quite a bug or just something they don't really quite know how to handle um, in fixing yet. Um, but you can actually, if you have a uh, programmable keyboard, um, like I'm using a Razer Nostromo to do this, um, you can actually set a macro um, with different intervals um, between the abilities and you just toggle it on and off. Um, so I have, right now I have an interval of 0 0.35 seconds. Um, if your interval is uh, too small, uh, you'll just send so many keystrokes that you won't be able to do anything because um, your guy will kill himself because uh, it keeps sending uh, the W keystroke. Anyways, before I even dive into that, let me just show you what I'm talking about. So um, I heard that uh, Pudge can have an easier time denying himself if you have a macroable keyboard um, and you macro his rot to turn on and off at a faster interval than the rot actually ticks. And uh, if this doesn't really make any sense to you, I'll show you what it does. Um, so basically, I've got uh, three different heroes here with toggle abilities. Uh, well, two different heroes with toggle abilities. And I've got a uh, second set of pudges to show you how much the rot does to enemies and how much it does to yourself. And then I got um, these guys to show you how much they can heal um, with a macro key. Um, and if you don't know what a macro key is, you can set a certain key function um, to be fired. But basically, you can set a number of key functions to be fired. So like if you're playing Invoker, a lot of people use macro keyboards with Invoker where they will um, just hit one button and it'll queue up his fire, uh, his meatball, his meteor, um, or it'll, you'll just set a couple more functions or you'll hit another key and it'll queue up his cyclones and you'll hit another key and it'll queue up his EMP just so instead of you having to hit WWW for EMP you just hit one key and it's like boom you got an EMP um, so anyways so basically what we're doing is and I'll show you I'll uh, I'll have a screen clipping of it here in a second what I mean all right so this is uh, the macro program it's called Razor Synapse um, this is my Nostromo right here I'm um, not sure if you have ever heard of a Nostromo, but this is what one looks like. Uh, this is what I play with. Basically, uh, you just can program any key to anything. And so um, then you can set up macros. And so what a macro is, is it's exactly what it sounds. So like say if I wanted one for EMP, uh, I have it hit WW, 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 and then so it's W down, W up, W down, W up. W down, W up, R down, R up, and then I have it um, have a delay, and then an alt cast. So basically, a uh, 0.2 second delay uh, gives him time to invoke the power, then throw the meteor. This um, macro actually creates the meteor and then throws it immediately, or the EMP and then throws it immediately wherever my cursor is at. So it's it's kind of a cool thing. I uh, actually haven't played with it in a while, just because it can. I don't know. I, I never really got used to it. It kind of screws me up most of the time. But um, so this is the macro that we're using for Pudge to kill him faster. Uh, it's just W down, W up at a 0 0.035 second delay. So every 0 0.35 seconds, it clicks a button. That's a macro. And then you just assign it to a key. And then it's assigned to this key with a toggle continuous playback on and off using assigned key. So basically, we hit the key once, and then it just keeps spamming the W command over and over and over and over. And then so, or you can play once, play multiple times, or play while signed key is pressed. So if I wanted to just play it while, I just could hold down the key and it would just play it while I was holding it down. So, um, but anyways, that's that. Jump back to the video. But basically, there's a 0 0.35 second delay, then W goes down and W goes up. And then there's another 0 0.35 second delay, and then W goes down and W goes up. And so basically, Pudge's rot does damage to himself every single time uh, the ability starts. So every time the power is clicked down, it does damage to himself. So if we can fire that at a faster interval than the game actually ticks his rot, we can actually make him do more damage to himself than the rot 
initially does, um, therefore having a higher chance of denying yourself uh, during a game. And uh, yeah, supposedly it works very well. I haven't tried it in game yet. I'm not sure if I'm going to. I'm not one for cheap plays, um, but I'll just show you how it works right now. So basically, the pudge on the left is going to have um, the normal rot just turned on, and the pudge on the right will have the ticking rot, and then I will pause the game before one of the back pudges dies and I'll show you all their hells and um, how and I'll try to explain it a little bit alright so here we go and go so you can hear that ticking noise um, that's the key getting that's the command getting sent over and over and over again exactly 0 0.35 seconds every time this guy on the left is about to die so we're going to pause right now oh need to turn that off okay so basically, what we have here is we have a Pudge with 1,658 health um, out of 2,449. And then we have a Pudge with 1,940 health out of 2,449. So as you can see, the Pudge on the right has lost almost... Uh, he's lost about 300 more health than the Pudge on the left in just that short time frame. And then the Pudge on the left has actually received more damage from the Rot just staying on. Um, so if you're trying to rot an enemy, um, this pudge on the right, just leaving your rot on is a lot better because it'll save your health and it'll do more damage to the enemy. But if you're trying to deny yourself, the pudge on the right does way better um, because it does more damage to him. Um, and, uh, well, it does less damage to the people around him, but more damage to him. You're just trying to deny yourself. That's all you're trying to accomplish. So that's that. Now I'm going to show you the witch doctors and how they correspond with this macro key. So let me just refresh these heroes and unpause the game and turn off my toggles. Alright. Let's refresh again. Get everyone back to full health. Alright, now it's I'm going to have my pudges back. attack the corresponding pudges. Alright, sweet. So now it's time to show you what these Witch Doctor heals does. Notice the mana on this watch, Witch Doctor, and then notice when I switch this Witch Doctor. And here we go. And of course he's out of mana. Now what we really see here is, well, I guess we don't really see a whole lot. Um, they healed about the same. But this guy burned all of his mana, and this guy still has full mana. They both have two bloodstones, um, so therefore macroing uh, with voodoo restoration is really, really stupid. I wouldn't do it. And, you know, I wouldn't macro with Pudge either, just because that's kind of cheap plays. Um, I don't know if it'll help you get last hits easier. It might, um, but uh, I, just, I just wasn't even aware that this existed, and I thought it was pretty crazy. Um, as far as I'm concerned, Pudge's uh, normal raw ability ticks at 0 0.2 seconds, is what I believe, and then um, what I have it to is 0 0.035, so um, it supposedly ticks like a lot more, and you can therefore do tons more damage to your house self, and um, potentially uh, deny yourself almost every time, um, so... But, you know, I just, I thought everyone should be aware of it, and, um, you know, if you decide to use this in a game, I'm sure it will get patched soon enough. Uh, I, I don't know how they would plan on patching it, though. Um, they could do something like they did with Armlet, but there's just, uh, I mean, that just kind of ruins a lot of the mechanics of Pudge, not being able to toggle, toggle your rot that quickly, so. Um, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was kind of a different one for me. Um, I just found this out and I hadn't really seen anything on it like the whole time I've been playing Dota and I thought it was really interesting and I thought it was weird that I hadn't heard anything on it so but I hope you guys enjoyed it uh, like and subscribe and uh, take it easy this has been Dreth with Depths of Dota peace hey guys I hope you liked the video if you did like and subscribe by clicking the YouTube button uh, I've got other ways you can follow me on Twitter Facebook and Google Plus and also, if you want to watch me play live, just follow me on Twitch. That's uh, twitch.tv slash dreth. And I've got a bunch of other videos that you can check out on my YouTube channel. So go ahead and check them out. And I hope you guys enjoy the videos.